Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about college registration. I made a video in 2017 about registration advice for incoming freshmen. But today I'm going to be focusing on registration advice for returning students, the second semester freshmen, sophomores, and juniors like myself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. A few people did ask me to make this video, but I think that registration is a really important topic to talk about because the classes that you're in and your class schedule is going to impact your life for the next four or five months. My first bit of advice is to figure out what classes you need to take for your major. I really like using roadmaps. I'm not sure if they have these at every school, but it's basically a piece of paper that tells you what classes you should take every semester to graduate in four years. I ended up going a little bit out of order on some of these things, but these can be a really great starting point and they can really help you to effectively plan out your classes so that you don't have to be in college for any more time than you need to. I usually get these from my advisor or from the department office, but you can also probably find these on your school's registration sites. And if your school doesn't have roadmaps, you can also talk to your advisor and make your own roadmap because a lot of classes will have prerequisites and you want to make sure that you're doing things in the right order. So you can have all of the prerequisites that you need for classes later on in your college career. The second thing that I would recommend doing is talking to your advisor. Some advisors are better than others. I've had some good experiences, I've had some bad experiences, but your advisor is probably going to have at least some information about what classes you need to take. So it's a good idea to talk to them and build that relationship. Advisors often have a fair amount of power and they'll probably be the ones helping you with all of your graduation forms. The third thing that I would recommend doing is researching classes and professors. You can look up the course syllabuses online. You can use websites like Rate My Professor to see reviews of different professors. But what's really helped me the most is talking to other students in my department and at my university because they have actually experience with the professors and the classes so they can tell you what the class is like and if they liked it or not and they can give you professor recommendations and class recommendations. Sometimes I feel like I've learned more from older students in my department than from my advisors. So ask around, don't be afraid to ask people that are older than you for advice because most of the time they'll be more than willing to help you. The fourth thing that I would recommend doing, especially if you know for sure what you want to major in, is to get your general education classes out of the way as soon as possible because at my school they won't let you register for upper division classes until you finish certain GE classes. So it's a good idea to get those classes out of the way so that you can really focus on your major. Major. If you don't know what you want to major in, I would suggest taking a few intro classes and majors that you're considering because that can really help you decide what you like and what you don't like. The fifth thing that I would recommend doing is taking the WST as soon as you possibly can. So I don't know if all schools have the WST, but I know that a lot of schools in California do. And for those of you that don't know, the WST is the writing skills test. And it's a test that you have to take to take the upper division writing class called 100W. And I'm really glad that I did it early because I didn't have to worry about not being able to register for classes at the end of my sophomore year. So then once you've done all of your research and you have a general idea of what classes you want to take, I would suggest creating multiple sample schedules, so different options of what classes you'd want to take, and then I would suggest writing down all the registration codes for those classes, because when registration opens, so many people are going to be fighting for the same classes, and you want to be prepared, and you want to have multiple options if the first option doesn't work. I made that mistake a few semesters ago, and I had a really bad schedule with a lot of gaps, so add your first choice classes to your cart ahead of time so that you can register, but then also keep the list of alternatives right next to you, so you can enter those codes if your first choice classes are full. So I think that's pretty much it for registration advice. If you have any other questions feel free to comment them down below stay awesome be sure to vote on tuesday check out the first link in the description to find your polling place good luck with registration and i'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye